all right so now to get started let's look at our positions on the water now mark was at owen beach at point defiance park and you'll see his laser fade in on the horizon and i was positioned at saltwater state park in des moines washington now while we're here let's take into account what these two land masses would look like from my position facing towards mark's position southwest All right, so the distance between these two points is 10.3 miles. Mark's gonna say in a little bit that he's about seven feet above sea level. That gives us a target hidden height of 33.2 feet. I'm going back on again. All uh, right, yeah, bring it back on. All uh, right, yep. All uh, right, let me see, you're about dead on. Boom, boom, boom. All right, bring it to the right. Bring it to the right. Little bit. All right, stop right there. Bring it back a little bit. Ah, oh, shoot. Hold on. Wait, wait. Stay right there. Stay right there. Yeah, let me hit record. Ah, oh, shoot. We're out of focus. Still see it, though. Look, we're out of focus, and we still got a picture on the laser. I zoomed in. It kind of looked like one of those stars. All right, hold on. Let me... Try to get this thing focused again. But yeah. I see you, man. Here, point it back, point it back uh, to the left a little bit. Your left? Yeah. Yep. Bring it back. Just a just a hair. Boom, right there. That's perfect. Stay right there. Stay right there. Um uh, honestly, what what's your elevation right now? You're, you're in the water right now? I'm checking the heights right now. Awesome. Alright, uh, let's see. I would say seven feet. Seven feet off the water. About seven feet off the water? Okay. At this point, I'm anticipating that someone suffering from cognitive dissonance is going to say, No, he was more than seven feet above sea level. Okay, so let's say eight and a half. Now, where's the other 30 feet of curvature? And then somebody else is going to say, No, he's higher than eight and a half feet. Okay, let's try 10. So, where's the other 27 feet of curvature? Yeah, stop it. So, here, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lean I'm gonna lean down a little bit. Uh, it's like the tide's coming in, so hold on. Hold on, let me back this thing up a little bit. The water's coming in. Uh, yeah. Give me a few seconds. Back it up just a little. Then I'm going to adjust my uh, tripod to uh, get the... Yeah, this battery get the, it takes a lot of powder on that laser. Alright, yeah. Turn it off for a few seconds, but try to keep that position. I'm lower. I'm lower this time. So I got the camera like at about three feet above the water, somewhat. Um, you know, got the tripod down low. So uh, let's see what you got now, man. Let's see if I can find you. All right, hope there's no power. It takes quite a bit. Here it goes. Okay. All right, hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, yeah. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Stay right there. Right there. Right there. Let me get you. All right, so, okay, so hold on, dude. You see it right here. All right, folks, boom. There's a laser right there. All right, my tripod is nice and low. You see me? Boom, we're 10 miles away. I can see that laser. Mark, about about how high are you above the water? Right at about right. seven feet. Right at about seven feet. And you're like kind of... Um, Pointing downward toward the uh, toward my position, then that's cool. Uh, all right, yeah. So, yeah, everybody can see that I'm about three feet above the water, and uh, yeah, we can see the laser just fine. Can can't we, people? Can we see the laser just fine from ten miles away? 
over all this flat water. Don't we see? Isn't that what we, we're seeing right now, people? Ten miles away. Look, you can see a laser. Dude, we can see. I can see the laser with my naked eye right now. Everybody can see it off in the distance. I'm not even looking into the camera right now. We can all see the laser together right now. Ten miles away, dude. Here, let's let's get lower. I'm gonna put the phone down here. I'm gonna put the phone down here on the ground. And we can still see the laser. Yeah? Huh? Everybody still see it? We're on the ground right now. Ten miles away. Huh? Do we need to get into the water? Let's get into the water a little bit. Huh? Hey. Oh look, people. Hold on. We're in the flipping water and you can still see the laser. Huh? Huh? Checkmate. Checkmate. <laughs> Checkmate. That's game. That's game. That's game. Is it not? That's game, dude. Yo, Mark. Hey. Hey, I, I think we got enough, man. I think we can wrap this one up. I know. We've all been taught that we live on a globe since we were children. But look at that globe and recognize that the blue areas on that globe represent bodies of water, namely oceans. But as I always say, the Earth's surface is 71% water, bodies of water do not curve, therefore the Earth is flat. Consider what you see in reality and ask yourself what makes the most sense. Water doesn't mysteriously start to curve downward after 10 miles. From here, spread the truth, expose the lies, and demand answers. This is the Flat Earth Offensive, and you are the resistance.